This is a children's music box that uh, simply works by putting some objects onto uh, this glass surface here and then music gets played. I guess most of you already know uh, the concept. It has been around for some while. Um, most uh, known brand of this is the Tony box where you buy some RFID objects and you can put them uh, onto the surface here. This one works a bit different though. So first of all, it's a DIY version, of course. And uh, this uh, uses 3D printed objects that have a QR code on at the bottom. And actually what's uh, encoded here in this code is just a YouTube uh, URL. And uh, you so you just print out these uh, QR codes and stick them on here and put them onto the box and then it gets played automatically. So no need to copy anything onto the box, uh, no need to configure anything. You just print it, put it on there, and it will play the music, which is quite nice. And of course, this also has lots of advantages. Like for example, this thing is not locked into the uh, proprietary uh, Tony cloud or whatever cloud of the manufacturer. As long as YouTube works, this still works as well. And it's of course not limited to YouTube. You could play web radio uh, with this. Uh, anything you put on here as a URL will be played, which is quite nice. Apart from these 3D printed uh, tags, which of course all have a QR code here, you could make your life even simpler because um, I wrote a small tool that uh, when given a YouTube URL will uh, print out a uh, template to build one of these little uh, yeah, paper tags that contain, of course, a QR code on the bottom. And uh, automatically uh, the script will download uh, the thumbnail and put it uh, here onto uh, this uh, tag, which is also quite nice. And it's super fast. Like uh, you run the tool, it will give you a PDF page. You cut, uh, pr print it, uh, you cut the uh, tag out of the paper, glue it, and you're done. And then you're ready playing it which is, of course, quite cool. So, uh, as you might uh, see here, this has no controls whatsoever. So uh, there's no option here to skip a track, there's no option to seek through the th track, no option to change the volume. Silly me, I didn't add these controls to the box, but I did just print them. So. We have here, for example, a volume knob, and let's use that. Can put it on here and reduce the volume. And this, of course, works uh, again by a QR code, and the box detects the angle of uh, the volume knob, knob and um, adjusts the volume accordingly. And um, of course, there's also uh, seek button if you want to seek through a song. So uh, it's really quite a nice and funny way of uh, interacting with this box. Like everything goes through this glass window and uh, yeah, of course uh, you can use this also to uh, do uh, playlists. Like if you put several texts onto the glass surface, this is the equivalent of a playlist and will play all these uh, subsequently. So um, yeah, that's a really nice way of being able to play music and especially uh, nice for children because uh, you can really touch uh, kind of the music so you have some physical uh, object that uh, represents the music which is not only for children great but uh, to be honest also for adults uh, so i i really like uh, playing music with this oh and uh, by the way you can actually use this uh, not only to play music but also to make music. So I have here some special instrument tags that you can place on here. And uh, yeah, you can, for example, change the uh, note you're playing by rotating it. And uh, this also allows you to do some kind of drum machine uh, setup. So by placing several instruments here, uh, the box will play it from left to right uh, in a continuous loop. This is the bass drum, hi-hats and clap. The 
construction of the box is actually really simple. Like it's a 3D printed uh, box with a, a Perspex uh, window here. And inside of the box, as you can see, there's not really much. Like uh, there are white LEDs to illuminate the QR tag from uh, below. And this is important um, so that this uh, QR code reading works both at complete darkness as well as bright sunshine. So the camera is set to a fixed exposure that is, is tuned to the light of uh, the LEDs. And this way the QR codes can always be detected no matter what uh, the exterior conditions are. And then yeah, you have here the camera reading the QR tag Raspberry Pi 02. W so that it can grab uh, songs from the internet and a little loudspeaker and amplifier. And that's it. That's all you need. So it's super simple. I published all of the uh, yeah, mechanics and electronics and software on my GitHub. So uh, you are free to download these and build one of these for your own. And of course, uh, the, the program to uh, generate these uh, little paper tags here um, is also included in there. So I hope you like my version of a uh, music box and uh, would be glad to see uh, someone rebuild uh, such a thing because uh, it's, it's a really nice unit. I really love it and especially my daughter loves it. So yeah, it's a great thing to have. And uh, yeah, with that being said, uh, thank you all for watching and now enjoy a bit of uh, exit music.